Rokas Receives and sophomore Justin Wright Foreman. Coach, an opening statement about tonight's 96 58 victory? Well, obviously, we're, we're, we're very pleased with how we played. I thought we uh, you know, had a little bit of a hangover possibility written all over it because we um, you know, had that big game Sunday in Kentucky and it's national TV and it's at the Barclays Center and all that stuff. And then we had just one day to prepare. So you worry a little bit about the, you know, the, the residual of that, of that game. And our guys uh, obviously handled it very well. So, um, you know, I think the outcome of this game is, is probably a result of what happened last week. We had two tough games last week against two very good teams. Came up short, but I think we got better against those two teams. I think we learned a lot about ourselves, and, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to getting back on that court. Yeah. Question. Well, Rocky said on um, on Sunday that, that whatever happened there, it, it was going to help you, and it, it helped you immediately. What impact did that game Sunday have on you guys today? Uh, great, you know, like looking at Justin Foreman, right Foreman, you know, he did well against Kentucky, and he built that confidence. And tonight, look at him, got that leading score, you know, played well. The whole team played well, played hard, we were concentrated, and I think that Kentucky really helped us and got prepared us for next game. Justin, what did you think about how, how that Kentucky game prepared you for tonight? It was a great experience, especially playing against those group of guys who were potential first round draft picks to the NBA. I mean, it was just an all around great experience for all of us. You know, we just had to embrace the moment, and you know, the game, we just had to pick up where we left off. Joe, it seems like Justin's role has increased as the season has gone on. How has he evolved? Well, you know, this is no surprise to us the way he scored tonight. He did it. He did it all through the preseason. It's more of he just had to get comfortable and get a little bit of confidence. I mean, it's not magic. You know, the old what comes first, success or confidence, and he just needed to have a little bit of success to get his confidence. But he's, I mean, the man can really score. And uh, you know, if he uh, he continues like like this and feeling comfortable out there, we, we, there'll be more games like this. I think. I hope. Rocky. You're allowed to do this every night. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you guys, the coach said there was a, the potential for, for a hangover. For, uh, how did you avoid that? I don't know. Yes, they were concentrated to, to this team. And I mean, you cannot forget the game against Kentucky, but you have to keep going. We, had, we wanted to get the number seven. You know, it was two losses, and uh, coming to this one, we really wanted to win. So I feel like everybody concentrated and give everything they could. Coach, just not you let up not you uh, score ninety six points. I apologize, but only let up fifty eight. What can you say about the defense tonight? Yeah, I, I, first of all, I can't explain what we did. I wish I could say, look, I, I knew what we were doing. We just made it work. Yeah, that's a credit to these guys because we were just on the fly making adjustments, and these guys made it. Not the coaches, the players made it. So that was really we talk about basketball IQ a lot and, and playing the game, and these guys were terrific out there. Coach, probably your most complete effort you would say uh, of the season um, so far. Um, how important is it, given that you're not going to play for another nine days and only two games over the next 18 days? Well, we, we, we were just saying with, with, uh, with Jeff Hath, we were just saying it's a, this is a way to go into a nine-day layoff because, you know, the alternative is you don't get it done and you got to think about a bad game for nine days. So this is great. We, we, need, we need a little break. This is good. The guys need to get their exams done. We're going to get our bodies right and lick our wounds a little bit and, and then get it, get it together for our next game. And then after that, it's league play. So it, it, it came at just the right time. With the margin the way it was, it doesn't feel like it. But you were saying the other day, this this is a rivalry. And just what is in that context, what does it mean to to play so well against a, a neighbor? Yeah, it always means a little bit more to play a, play a cross town rival, to play a local team. You know, whether it's Stony Brook or you know Manhattan or Columbia or whatever, it always feels it always feels a little bit better. But you know, it's uh, you know, as I said to the guys, let's let's play the game the right way. The next, before you know, we'll be playing them next year. So. Does it mean a little bit more, not only that they're a Long Island rival, but they got to the tournament last year, you guys came so close, you didn't quite get there, does that make this a little bit sweeter? Yeah, not really. I don't, I don't, I honestly, I don't, it didn't really, it didn't, that didn't enter my mind. Coach, six players uh, in double figures tonight as far as scoring. Um, which performance really stood out to you the most? Well, they all did. I mean, and for different reasons. It was great to see Ty Greer get a deep double-double. He got 14 and 12. I mean, you know, uh, we challenge a lot of these guys to, you know, to learn from that, that game Sunday. And I think, I think everybody did. You know, Rock kind of alluded to that. So, you know, the biggest thing coming out of Sunday was we learned really how to prepare for somebody and really how to play the game and really how to, you know, play the game the right way. And these guys were even saying before the game, let's prepare for every game like it's Kentucky because we learned how to do that against Kentucky. And I think we carried it over. Joe, you guys really struggled. I think it was three weeks ago, three weeks ago in Florida against Vermont. What's you know, you've had some pretty good defensive performances since then, some pretty big wins. What's kind of been what's changed? What what happened to kind of turn the tide a little bit? 
Yeah, I think having those bad experiences helped us. You know, I mean, it hurts. You know, growing pains hurt. But that's what we were doing. We were going through some growing pains there. I mean, we were learning about our team, and the reality of no winding agreement at the end of the game was finally really setting in. You can talk about it, but when you actually experience it, it's different. So, But what's happened since then, Deron Powers has established himself as, as our guy. He's established himself as, you know, when we, we put the ball in his hands and let him let him do what he's got to do. And, you know, we've, we've gotten so much better since since Florida. I even pointed more, Jerry, to the Manhattan game. Mm -hmm. We, we kind of limped out of that Manhattan game, just really licking our wounds and really feeling pretty down. Mm -hmm. and, and we feel good now. Mm -hmm. I think it's a credit to these kids that they've grown the way they did over the last whatever time period that is, mm -hmm. a month. Rock, we, you know, we, we asked the coach, but, you know, you've been through these a few times, these games against some, these all Long Island games against Sony Brook. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to you to, to beat another team from Long Island? Uh, it means a lot. It was very different the past couple of the past two times we played against them. They had a great team, and I'm not saying it's, this team is bad. We've just had a bad night, but it's great. You know, it's the rivalry, you know, like playing against them every year, it just gets us ready for conference play because they always have a good team, well coached, and uh, I don't know. We just have to keep it going. I think it have to be like a every year thing and try to win every game. Thank you guys. Thanks. Story book for me in a few couple months.